الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين by the grace of Allah Zawajal that He keeps us under His Rahmah and mercy and that we are alive by every breath. This way is based on the breath. We take a path towards that reality towards the oceans of reality and all of the 40 shaykhs of the Naqshbandiya Silsila, their foundation was the breath. When we understand that everything in our life is based on this nafs, one big training for the self is that we have all these plans, all these hopes all these things that we are forecasting for our future. And awliyaullah come into our life and remind us that our life is really only one breath away. All the plans in the world is not going to mean anything if Allah doesn't give that nafs. It's written, how many breaths you're going to have inhaling and exhaling. All the plans mean nothing if Allah hasn't written for that servant the breath. Is then each breath is to be cherished and sacred and immense importance on the breath. When they train and begin to teach on how to breathe, how to breathe with a consciousness, to be conscious of your breath, Allah giving a gift 24,000 breaths in every day. These are 24,000 ni'mats and gifts that Allah gives. Means before we ask God and Allah for anything in life and all the demands and all that we want, Allah comes back first to us and says, did you thank me for your breath? All the things that you want out of life, did you thank me for your breath? You have to be a person of tafakkur. You have to be a person of contemplation that you have to try to, I want to improve day by day, am I today better?
Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. Knowledge. Quality. Integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. As soon as you sit at night, make contemplation, put the Qur'an, put a nice clean area that's not dirty, not computers, not anything around it, your sajada, your prayer carpet is there, your perfumes, your bukhur is there, you're playing holy Qur'an, talal khirat, praising upon Sayyidina Muhammad and then sitting, Ya Rabbi, I want to make a hisab of my day. What are all the things, the people, the places and things? What did I do? Who did I harm? Who did I agitate? Who did I aggravate? What did I do wrong for that day? Don't take the hisab of what you're great and how good you are, but take the things of what we did wrong and try to honestly find all the wrong issues. And then we write all those wrong issues and then say, Ya Rabbi, I need to correct that that please give me a power tomorrow to address that issue so that I won't do that again and I won't keep repeating every day the same issue, same issue. If we don't write it and we don't identify it, shaitan makes us to be heedless and forget. And every night we remember, by morning we forget. And then again in the same trap, in the same trap. So then awliyaullah come into our life and they teach us, no, no, write down every night what you're doing wrong, who are you affecting, who you talked bad with, how you acted bad. All of the characteristics that we know is not pleasing, cheated, stealed. You, you pray too fast, you miss certain prayers, write all, all, all these hasad and identify the sickness. The, the sickest one is the one who doesn't know he's sick. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. Because that's super sick, most dangerous. The healthy one is the one who knows he's sick. So now I know I'm sick. I know I have problems. I know I have bad characteristics. And they spend all night long crying on how to fix it. And I do want to, to live all my life in hypocrisy. I don't want to have an appearance towards people and they think, oh, I must be pious, I must be good, but I'm a hypocrite and I have all my bad characteristics. So it means that they're not perfect, but they're striving for perfection. At least they're struggling and trying to identify what's wrong. Not that you're going to walk on water, this is not a class of people who walk on water. But these are the people who are walking through these dirty streets of dunya. And say, Ya Rabbi, with everything that's coming upon me, all the desires that are distracting me and every night crying, Ya Rabbi, take them away. 
take these bad characteristics away and awliyaullah come Mawlana Shaykh teaching that you can't imagine Allah's rahmah. When Allah finds sincerity in the servant and begin to inspire the servant, have a consciousness and keep the company of truthful servants. When Allah gives you sharat, it's not for physical world only. Keep the company of the sadiqs. Not only physical, Allah is not physical. When you're sitting and making tafakkur, you're, Ya Rabbi, I want to keep the company of those whom you're pleased with. Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin. And when I'm praying, I say, Salaamu Alaikum, Ayyuhan Nabi wa Ibadullahi Salihin. They're all there. I don't see them. But Allah made me to say it in my salah. Prophet has a whole tribe and category of helpers of the Budala, Nujaba, Nuqaba, Awtad, Akhyar, Qawf. All of these awliyaullah that Allah gave their souls different specialties. They say when you have an inner desire that you cannot control, you call upon Nuqaba. Ya Nuqaba, Ya Allah, that what Allah gave of you, of your qudra, of your power, put your nazar upon me. Their responsibility is their firasal, their nazar, their light, go into the soul, go deep into the heart where all the bad desires are emanating controlling that servant to bring out a bad amal. There's a desire and a push of an energy inside deep that pushes until the physical buttons are moved and they perform a bad amal. Allah gave them a power, gave their soul a reality that as soon as you make madad and even if you don't make madad they have a responsibility to clean. But what's more powerful than to make the madad and say, Ya Rabbi from those whom you give your gifts and no one can even imagine what their gifts are, let them come and their nazar be upon me that they can reach into my soul and pull out bad desires. That their firasal begin to dress upon my heart, dress upon my soul. It's so many tools that Allah gave to Ummat Muhammad of these realities and all shaitan wounds is to block it and stop it from people. It has a power and they don't want anyone to reach to those powers. They know their job and they know who's responsible and they know they're responsible to Allah because they're going to answer to Allah that when they called, how come you didn't come? They're not the people who like in dunya, it's impossible. Merely call upon the servants of Allah and their soul is responsible to come. And then it means you're really struggling against all the bad characteristics. Did you know that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Nas Window Blinds offers high quality custom window coverings for both residential and commercial projects. We offer a stunning range of colors and design options. We also provide an on-site measurement and style consultation so that you can be sure you're getting the very best option for your windows. Let us enrich the look, feel and value of your space with custom window coverings. Call Nas Blinds today.
zikr. Sit and, and, and contemplate that your whole life of this fountain of light and this fountain of love, this fountain of hayat is based on that breath. As soon as you begin to breathe and feel the qudra coming in with your breath and say, Ya Rabbi I want to take from your oceans of power let me to breathe this energy in and all my bad characteristics I'm exhaling them out. So I breathe in an energy and I exhale all my bad characteristics. And they said the, the stronger and the better you become at that breath you begin to add your zikr to it. So once you're comfortable breathing then you add the zikr of who? The zikr of who breathing in and the zikr of who breathing out. Zikr of who breathing in and the zikr of who breathing out. Once you get better at the breathing you realize that the more you restrict your breath where you start to close your mouth but breathe through your nose, breathe in and exhale through your nose. This energy that Allah will begin to open for the servant become like a fire. If you cut the oxygen for the fireplace it actually ignites much stronger. So means they begin to breathe through their nose, restrict their breath and bring that qudra in. As they're bringing this qudra and this power Allah sends that Divine qudra. There's an energy that's all around us, a nafas a rahmah. It's a rahmah and a mercy that Allah want to send to the believer. They have to stop their life and sit and contemplate as they breathe in and take the bad character out. Breathe in this power, take the bad character out. At that time when they understand the power of the breath then Allah begin to open for them their physiology. That as you're breathing in this qudra that energy is the energy that will nourish all of your being because the entire being is based on the qalb where Prophet described if there's one part of you bad all of you is bad. And if one part of you is good, all of you good and this is the qalb. So the focus is not like other traditions everywhere. The focus of all the tafakkur is qalb al-mu'min baytullah. That I'm asking, Ya Rabbi my heart to be your house. Then Allah said, just say, clean it. Take all your idols, all, all the false things that you have within your house, clean and purify your qalb. And then this breath that coming in in the tafakkur, the breathing and all the bad character going out, they begin to see this light and qudra is coming into their breath. That breath it nourishes the lungs, it nourishes all the blood inside the lungs that are being produced and that blood goes into the heart energized with the Divine qudra. When they breathe with that energy and that reality they're purifying their heart. The power comes in, nourishes the lungs, nourishes all the blood and then the blood moves into the heart. When it enters into the heart these are the people of dhikr that as they're breathing and making a dhikr of who? Dhikr of Allah that blood is being stamped with dhikrullah. When that blood is stamped with the zikr of Allah it goes to all the essential organs of the body and is energized and powered. Means the one whom wants to ignite their Divinely Sword. And Divinely Lights and Divinely Qudra, there's a whole process. It's not just you know I'm at the supermarket and things happen. There's a whole process in which to sit and meditate, try to perfect the character, bring the energies, bring all of these practices of qudra and energy and breath. 
as that energy is coming in, nourish the breath, move that breath into the heart, the dhikr of the heart will stamp it and then begin to nourish all the organs. The one whom develops their inner energy will have perfected their outer energy. If there's no perfection inside, the outside's garbage. Everything is based on an internal power and you mimic it just like this dunya. This earth, its power is based on its core. The earth has an iron core that moves. Based on that movement of the iron core, it produces an atmosphere and seven layers of atmosphere that protect all of us on this earth from everything that's coming out. So Allah just said, then look to this earth, earth, look to this dunya, its inner reality produces its outer power. So as you perfect the inner reality and all the inner practices that Prophet brought for us, that energy will begin to perfect all the outer. When the inside is good, the outside is protected and shayateen cannot come. But if the inside is not being activated, every shaitan is attacking that person relentlessly all over them. We pray that Allah inspire more and more understanding how to build the inner reality, the inner qudra so that the outer form will be protected. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Sayyid Suud Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation.